Well, I have no idea what that conversation was about, but look back there. Pacing in his locker room area, Jeff Jarrett, moments away from going in the ring against Sid Vicious. Got to think is an understatement. Well, here comes Mark Jindrak, and we heard what the boss told Jindrak earlier, that he had something in store for him tonight, and I guess we're going to find out what that is. Rick Flair turning the tables on the commissioner, Mike Sanders. We've seen where the thrillers have the advantage. They have the edge, not knowing which members are going to be in the ring in a certain match or a tag team match. Well, Flair said he's going to turn it around on the thrillers and Jindrak. But who is he facing? Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. Log on to WCWgear.com to get your Goldberg jersey. And I'm sure that's where Jindrak would rather be right now. Logging on somewhere than to be in the ring against Goldberg. I think I just seen Jindrak get down on his hands and knees and start praying, God. Well, in my imagination, if he didn't just do that. I just went to... I was really trying to do something else. <laughs> Look a good look at his face right there. And you may be right. As I stand here at the Mid-South Coliseum... To welcome in one of the true greats in all of sports entertainment, a man whose record is now at 33 and 0, and 176 seems a long way away. But for Goldberg, as the cliche goes, you line him up and I'll knock him down. No one has been able to derail this monster. Every match is of the utmost importance because not only is the streak on the line, but also the career of Goldberg. But Goldberg does not think so, and many of us behind the scenes know that's not the case. Sarge may have spent his time training men to be superstars, but he has performed day in, day out in the ropes, between the ropes. He is one of the toughest men, pound for pound, and a man that Goldberg certainly trusts. Luger and Bagwell cannot afford oh, to be oh over contest God. at sin. Goldberg just took Shindrak and tossed the 6'5", 265-pound Shindrak to the floor, comes back up, springboard, caught him in midair. Shindrak, that's amazing. Oh, man. Incredible that he will take a man that size and manhandling. He's Zintrak. measuring him for the spear. Shindrak tried a move that we've seen him do night after night after night, but this guy was ready for it, guys. Ow. That is about that. Prelude to the end. He speared him out of his boots is what he did. It's all over but the crying now, guys. Goldberg has dominated this one just like he dominated every other match in the street. Can it be 34 now? Rusty. Down with the jackhammer. The count is down 34 now. But for Goldberg, one of the biggest nights one of the most important nights for him comes out in 11 days at WCW Sin Sunday from the Conceito Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. With his friend, his mentor by his side, he'll face two of the toughest in all of WCW Luger and Bob. Think of this, the man that created Goldberg, Sarge, could be the man that ends his career right. if Sarge comes out in the losing end, upcoming at Sin on January the 14th in that tag team match. Another dominating performance by the monster himself, Goldberg, who's got something to tell us. What's this about? Yes. Well, let's find out. Seems like a lot of people got things on their mind going in the sand, guys. Look, it's ticking. Eleven days, boys. Luger, Bagwell, and Sin. After I beat both your asses, you can wipe both your damn names off WCW's roster. Whoa! Because you're both next! How about that? He doesn't just want them as a team. He wants them individually coming up at sin. 
wants to prove himself at sin against Luger and Bagwell. Let's not forget, Bob, later on in his telecast against the Sarge in a one-on-one matchup. Coming back with more. Stay with us.